MSI may have just introduced the end of competitive gaming and I'm not even sure there's anything we can do about it. And while this might sound a bit hyperbolic, I honestly think we're about to witness the demise of an entire genre of gaming ushered in by a new monitor with AI cheats built in that are literally undetectable. So what the heck is going on? MSI revealed a new monitor at CES which features an onboard AI-based computer vision tool that can read what's happening on the screen and give players on-screen aids to notify them of what's going on. Their demo showcased off-screen enemy indicators in League of Legends, but their talking points mentioned potential compatibility with Call of Duty, Counter-Strike 2, and PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. And frankly, the way their tech is built means it can interface with any game and is even useful user programmable. Now the immediate reaction to this has been almost entirely negative. Many see this technology as the death of competitive gaming. And while you might be thinking, well, tiny little on-screen indicators that maybe notify you of something isn't like a huge advantage, well, the extent to which this technology can be used is basically anything. Sadly, cheat developers get more and more tech savvy every year, and they always seem to be one step ahead in the arms race of cheats versus anti-cheats. A few years ago, we started to see cheats that utilized a capture card and secondary PC running computer vision software to give users in-game feedback, aim assist, wall hacks, and basically anything else you can think of. Today, with technology like MSI's monitor, which is entirely self-contained and likely impossible to detect, it seems like the sky's the limit for how far cheat developers can run with this and how accessible it is to consumers now that it's being sold by a major company like MSI. There's all kinds of crazy stuff you could do with this. A research paper recently showed that Counter-Strike can be exploited to reveal player locations based on users' VoIP audio by running spectrum analysis on the background noise of their PC running. There seems to be no reason that that type of detection couldn't also be built into this monitor, especially since they mentioned the ability to work with game audio as well. Many games, notably Fortnite and God of War, feature audio assistance tools that display visual footstep indicators. Imagine a monitor that could do this for any game that you want and also draw outlines of players behind walls, giving you audio-based wall hacks. That's all completely possible with this sort of technology. Suddenly, anyone with this monitor or other devices like it become immediately untrustworthy. Now, to play devil's advocate for half a second, monitors like this would be a massive improvement for gamers with disabilities or impairments. Deaf and blind people wouldn't have to rely solely on in-game support for accessibility options, but there's simply no way to regulate what kind of apps get installed on this monitor, and thus an improvement for some would be disastrous to most. And this is likely just the first phase of this type of technology. In a couple of years, MSI's monitor could morph into a device that quite literally plays games for for you, sending all the inputs to your PC in real time, entirely foregoing the need to even pay attention. And considering that that's basically the goal of most software cheats and the people using them right now, it just seems like a matter of time before every script kitty is begging their parents for this cool new AI monitor. MSI, like much of the tech space last year, have opened Pandora's box when it comes to AI tech. And where all of this technology leads is uncertain, but it's hard to imagine a future where cheating in games is not drastically worse than it is today. And frankly, it's not fantastic today. There's no putting MSI's monitor back in the box and sealing it away like it never happened. This monitor likely just kicked off an arms race to get more products like this to the market. Monitors, mice, keyboards, and who knows what else could all end up with AI assist tools baked in that are virtually undetectable outside of strict hardware bans. And I guess that's really one of the major questions posed here is how could game developers and gamers combat this technology? Sure, we could all agree to boycott MSI products, sending the message that any hardware manufacturer making this tech is going to lose big business. Frankly, I don't think that's a terrible idea, but it would probably only affect Western markets, and it also seems like it would only be a stopgap measure. Smaller manufacturers would certainly take advantage of the market opportunity to make cheating hardware. Also, 
Also, game developers in Windows could take a more proactive approach to banning hardware that supports this kind of AI technology from being used. But again, that seems like an easy thing to circumvent by renaming the hardware or updating the firmware or doing whatever. Then, of course, government regulation is another route and honestly, probably a needed one. Banning certain products from sale in the United States and other countries would slow it down. But there's, of course, many ways to get around this. Not to mention, of course, that we game globally. Globally, so banning the hardware in one country and not another doesn't really fix the situation. Now, it is possible that game devs and AI anti-cheat tools that are already well into development could help reduce this problem. AI anti-cheats are rapidly being adopted into game developers' workflow, and they could help suss out hardware-based AI tools like MSI's monitors, but again, it's hard to know how effective they'll be. If you look at the current state of software-based anti-cheats and cheats, it's very clear that cheat developers will always have the advantage. Game developers can be as proactive as they want and deploy the most sophisticated anti-cheat systems ever imagined, but it's still almost always a reactionary process where cheat makers find a way around the anti-cheat and then the devs have to react to this new exploit. Currently, cheat developers make a living cracking those defenses. They can make millions and millions of dollars a month having armies of software testers, aka paying customers, who they'll happily throw under the bus to potentially crack a big new title. There isn't an online game without some form of cheating happening, giving cheat developers yet another tool that's likely harder to detect than any software-based solution just sounds like a perfect storm of pain and misery for anyone who cares about fair online play. And that's not even considering that MSI's monitor will also work on consoles, a platform that has been mostly safeguarded from the PC cheating world. Imagine PC-grade cheating software running on devices that already support baked-in assist tools like aim assist. Cheating on console could easily get just as bad as PC if not worst in a matter of years. Unfortunately, I, I think the next few years really are going to be an absolute nightmare for online gaming. If it's not MSI's monitor, some other company will develop AI software and hardware tools that do significant and irreversible damage to the integrity of online competitive gaming. We're likely looking at a new anti-cheat cold war that could really disrupt the gaming market. I'd love to put a positive spin on this, but I can't imagine a future where things get better before they get worse for competitive gaming. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the situation. Is competitive gaming doomed or do you see a way forward? Let me know in the comments if you got some ideas. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, hit that subscribe button for more content like this, and ding that notification bell to beat the YouTube algorithm with me. Up next, check out this video on a solo developer remaking Zelda Ocarina of Time in Unreal Engine 5, and it looks incredible. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.